Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next video on the women's prelims as we talk about USA routing uh, Switzerland 8 to nothing. Um, as Switzerland still is not faring well in this tournament, and Team USA as well as Canada are faring immensely great, and they are going to take on each other this evening, 11, 10 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be a great game to see who comes in first place. Most no, no, to see who comes in first place in the bracket. But Cavallini and Maurer started this game. Maurer did not end up finishing. Cavallini did. Uh, she played great when she got shots on net from Switzerland. There was few and far between. They were not able to generate a lot of offense against the top-ranked American team. But uh, they were still able to show some inroads in terms of getting chances. And when they did, uh, Cavallini came up big. Maurer... Uh, I think she would have a couple shots that she would like back, but she also didn't have a good defensive front um, in front of her uh, with the Switzerland team, so that goes a big part into it, and Hillary Knight was just absolutely going off. That one shot that she shot uh, from the sideboards was absolutely immensely great. Amanda Kessel's shot uh, from the from a side angle, it wasn't really from the sideboards, but from like almost the goal line, uh, was a absolute beaut as well, so I mean, they just brought the fire early, being down, or being up 5 nothing if you're Team USA, and being down 5 nothing if you're Switzerland, is always going to be great for USA, and if you're Switzerland, the team that needs to keep it close to even have a shot against the powerhouse teams, that game's already chalked at that point, pretty much, and that's my big takeaways from this game. If you're a Switzerland team, you got to find ways to obviously jam people at the neutral zone, stop to find a way to kind of just piss off the teams at the blue line. You don't want to be overly physical because of the illegal hits, but like you have to find a way to be able to kind of get into the other team's head, and they obviously weren't able to do that. And uh, USA then was up 5 nothing after the first, and they never looked back from there. Uh, in the second period, they were able to get two goals from Panic and Jesse Comfort, who's playing great in this tournament, JT Comfort's sister. So uh, th the game was obviously out of reach already, and then they just add on. And then in the third, um, Cam Cameronisi, excuse me, uh, from from Panic and Barnes adds on um, there to make it eight uh, nothing to just add salt to the wound when it comes to Switzerland. But Team USA, obviously, uh, that's the team I'm the fan of. You can kind of tell that. I'm from USA with the stuff in the background, but uh, when it comes to them, they've played immensely great. Canada's played immensely great. Canada has the larger goal output of the tournament, but you can explain that in different ways, whatever way you want to reason why that is. I'll leave that up to you. But Team USA and Canada is going to be a, bout for the, a battle for the century uh, this evening, honestly, because... Uh, these two teams have been playing at A++++, not even A+, like A++++, when you get those grades when you were in, like, first, second grade with the teacher, would even give you an extra bonus and get, like, 102 or something. That's what those two teams are doing in this tournament. So it's going to be a great game between the USA and Canada tonight. This has been a recap of the USA versus Switzerland, where they were able to route Switzerland 8 to nothing. Uh, Switzerland was out of this game after the first period. Um... The overall tournament now, after the assessment from after a few games compared to what I said after the first game for Switzerland, I have to say their their play has been they, they've had moments in games, and we know they're not going to keep up with the powerhouses of USA and Canada. So I would say their play's been C um, minus ish uh, level, where they played ROC decently, but like. They still were lo lost that game five to two, so I wouldn't give them a D, but like a C minus level. So um, that, that that's where I'm at with them. Where obviously I already told you a plus 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 for Canada and USA. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below on the subscribe button or up above on the easy to use widget to help us grow to 200 by the end of the month of February. Enjoy the rest of the Olympics, everybody.